you're an OB nurse and you just assisted in the delivery of your patient's newborn baby. Now you need to assess the heart rate. As you know, the heart rate can fluctuate. When the baby's awake, it'll be faster. When the baby's asleep, the heart rate will be slower. So a neonate is considered for the first 28 days of life. A normal heart rate for a neonate is between 120 beats per minute to 160 beats per minute. Before we dive into the live sound demo, I wanna go over a few important techniques that I find are crucial. So of course, hand hygiene, soap and water, clean your set the soap with an alcohol prep. I usually always clean in between patients and I let it air dry. You also want to make sure that you have a clock inside, one of those old fashioned clocks inside your room in a clinic, hospital setting, so you can be able to count down the seconds because we'll be counting for one full minute. You also want to identify the rhythm of the heartbeat. You want to get familiar of the lub dub sound because I'll be using a tapping technique. What I will do is I will plant my hand on a firm surface and I will count down the beat in a set of five. I count in sets of five. Some people will count individually. You'll find your groove as you start to practice this more. Now let's go over how to apply a stethoscope. So with your stethoscope, pediatric is ideal. However, with me, I use both populations I service. So I take care of adults and pediatrics. So I'm gonna be using this one. So when I'm looking at the stethoscope, I wanna make sure that it has a V form shape before applying into my ears. So once it's on my ears, I'm gonna be using the smaller bowel of the stethoscope and I'm going to tap it because I want it to be able to transmit that sound. If I don't hear it, I will rotate it until I can hear the sound properly. So I can hear the sound properly and I'm gonna use it like this. Now that we have the stethoscope on, let's identify the apical pulse. To find the apical pulse, you're going to palpate where the baby's clavicles meet. You're gonna to go towards the sternum where the ribs meet where you feel the soft little space that's called the intercostal space. You're gonna to go to the fourth intercostal space. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna shift over to the mid clavicular line, which is about right here. And then you're gonna slightly shift over right below the nipple area and this is where the apical pulse is. This is where I'm gonna add my stethoscope and press firmly. And listen for one full minute. If you learned something new, consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.